Hi everyone, my name is Tommy and today we're going to talk about 10 do-it-yourself tools and jigs that's going to save you a lot of money. Now when you start into Luthery, there's a lot of tools that you can get in stores and it, it adds up really, really quickly. So uh, when I started, what I decided to do was to kind of go online and find uh, resources on how to make some of the tools I was going to need. So um, here I kind of compiled a, a list of 10. Of course, there's more that you can add and there's like other ones that could have made that list as well. But just to keep it compact, we're going to stick it to 10. And the first one that I want to talk about is a Luthier's clamp. Now those ones can retail for about $30 a piece. So they get expensive really quickly when you need more than just the one. So uh, similarly, like the, the spool clamps as well can, like I think a set of six is about $50 on Amazon. So those ones get uh, expensive really quickly as well. And those are all clamps you can do by yourself. Uh, I do have a video on how to make the spool clamps. Uh, and how to use them. Uh, there's a video online on where I found where how to make those ones. The only difference is that on mine I put a little felt, uh, a piece of leather uh, to prevent damage on the soundboard and backboard when I use them. But those ones are very useful. Like in my case, I've got 10 of those that I use scrap wood, uh, those ones being oak scraps. Uh, by using that, like I saved a ton of money. Now the second one I would like to talk about is a go bar deck. A go bar deck is a structure that is used for clamping uh, tone bars or braces uh, on instruments. So uh, those ones can can retail for a pretty hefty price. Like I've seen some in the upwards of eight hundred dollars online. Uh, mine was made with using scrap once again here at home. I got some plywood and some uh, uh, I think it was fur that I use for mine. Uh, so like just by using this, I was able to create the structure and then for down pressure, there's like some uh, rods that you can buy and those can go up pretty quickly as well. So uh, what I did is when I did uh, use the, the oak, I, I ripped all my wood and all the leftovers from the length before I cut them to, to size because I actually ripped the whole length first. So all those ones I was able to once again cut to width and thickness to size and uh, I'm actually able to use the oak strips uh, in my uh, go bar deck to hold down pressure on my uh, glue ups. Now the third one is a thickness caliper. So if you do arch tops instruments or even if you, if you, you want to check the thickness of uh, like the center of your plate uh, for uh, a, like a normal guitar, uh, you're going to need something that's got an opening like that. Now online you're going to find that those ones are about like just under $200 and like I mean it's there's not much to it like it there's a little caliper here like grant, granted like the other ones has like a little thumb thing that's going to lift it but can easily lift this up. This one can be clamped in the workbench. Um, so I use a, a scrap of plywood once again. So with this one saved $200. So uh, you can see like even when you're on a budget you can you can do make tools that's going to help you around the shop to do your projects now the fourth one is uh bending iron now if you if you want to make instruments obviously you're going to have to bend sides you can make like a full on jig with springs and then get the blanket the heater and all all that stuff and and that's really pricey uh, the most common way is to use a, some kind of a bender so you use a hot pipe now you can get one that's already pre-made for you with like a, an, an element inside the pipe with a different shape and those ones are going to be over two hundred dollars um, the one that I made uses a light bulb I also have another one for tighter radius that uh, I use like um, a propane torch for so uh, either or those ones are very inexpensive um, I also have a video that describes a bit of the dimensions of the one with the 200 watt light bulb. Uh, that one works great. I, I made uh, the Mendo Cello uh, just recently using this one. Uh, it works great. Now the fifth one I would like to talk about is the Grammel. Now the Grammel is a tool that you use to create the channel 
for your binding. It scores the fibers and then you don't have as much tear up. Uh, those can sell for about $60 online and this one was about for me to make about $10 to $15. Uh, I did have a scrap of ebony here in my stuff and that, that I used to do that. And then the half inch bolt was uh, fairly inexpensive. I also had a few fittings, but I, I basically did the whole thing. I have a video on how I made that that I'll leave in the description below. So go have a look. It's a fun project, a big project to make. And then you have a, your own tool that you made yourself and you can use every day and you save money as well. Now in number six, it's mostly for flat top instruments. And I didn't really see any replicas on that online, but it's it's a jig for your saddle. So basically, when when you want to route the the saddle group in it, uh, you basically have two levers that keep your that's the the actual uh, template to make my bridges. But uh, it keeps the bridge in place and locked in place. And then I've got the angle proper angle for the intonation here and then I just have to use my router and route the groove. So very very useful if you make flat top instruments. Uh, this keeps the bridge in place. For number seven we have the fret edge file holder. Uh, what it does it holds the file at the proper angle and then with a simple uh, motion you can create the bevel for all your frets along the fretboard. Uh, so this is something that it's about like 50 to 60 dollars online that I've seen. Um, I like mine once again, I like to make my own tools. So uh, this one is, is a pretty cool project as well to do uh, at home. So the fret file holder. So in number eight, uh, it's an accessory that goes with the Stumac router, uh, Dremel router base. Uh, this is a great base and with all the money you've saved so far I would tell you guys like go go ahead if you need something like that it, it's worth the money this thing is awesome uh, where I find that you can actually save money is uh, with the router base uh, the router base attachment I should say now this router base attachment is used to make rosette or cut out the sound hole itself uh, it's a pretty simple system it's just slides back and forth and then there's a lineup pin that's going to go into the middle of your your sound hole so you can do all the rosette and all all the 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 routing that you need to do now mine uh i use leftover pieces of acrylic uh that i had or i think maybe lexan maybe it was lexan that i use uh, it's been a while so i'm not exactly sure but what i did is that i found that plastic to plastic was sliding quite a bit uh, so I added pieces of uh, sandpaper inside, like double-sided sandpaper, and glued them in place. And has an, like once it's tight, it doesn't move anymore. So this is something that you can make for very small amount of money, and you're gonna save about a hundred dollars for this one. Now, in number nine, a shooting board. A shooting board. You're, you're gonna need a shooting board if you want to uh, create the edge on your. Uh, uh, joint so where where your pieces meet uh, you need to have a, a good uh, joining edge and with the shooting board you're going to be able to achieve that now there's a lot of videos online that shows you how to make a shooting board and even online I couldn't really see, find or see uh, a retail shooting board so that's basically a project that you're gonna have to figure out for yourself uh, the one that I made has a, a bench hook, so as I'm pushing on it, it doesn't slide all over my bench. So that, that's a feature that I like about the one that I decided to go with. But there's a lot of models, there's a lot of size, so that's something you're going to have to look into for yourself. Number 10 is the mold for the instrument you're making. Now this is a pretty simple mold, it's for a A-style mandolin. Uh, and you can see I've got one in here already. Uh, it's very simple to make. Uh, it uh, helps bring your uh, craft to uh, another level when you're able to make your own jigs instead of buying them. Like they get really, really expensive when you buy for every instrument. So, like in this case, like if if you're making uh, a mandolin, you've got this one. If you want to make another one, it's already made for future. And then it, it pushes your uh, craft to maybe down the road make bigger jigs and make bigger instruments and so and so forth so uh, 
making your own jigs are going to save you quite a bit of money as well. Now I do have a bonus do-it-yourself uh, tool or jig that you can make and for me it's this one but for you it can be something totally different and by that what I mean is like use your imagination. Think outside of the box. It's not because it's not on the market somewhere that it's not something that can be useful in what you're trying to achieve. So in my case when it came to create the binding rosette on my uh, mandel cello I decided to try to make a mandel cello rosette shaper so because I use plastic this works with wood I would actually need to steam bend the wood but uh, using some, like a, a kettle boiling my water and then putting it and uh, and shaping it around this tool uh, I was able to, to get very good results with minimal uh, effort. So I hope this video was useful to you. If so, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what is the tool or jig that is not part of my 10 or bonus that you think I should have made it? Please leave a comment down below. Uh, I really appreciate your time and until next time, I wish you well.